Come with me. I'm gonna show you something. Why is it all red? Pretty trees, eh? Did I say A again? So, we put this, let me flip this around and show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> we put our little rug down when we got here. You know, there's rocks and pine needles and stuff. We're always brushing it off. Came out here one day last week, and I'm like, what the heck happened to that? Then, I see another one over here, and I'm like, those darn little chipmunks crawling underneath our rug and chewing their way through. And then, this morning, this chair was over here on top, you know, like the leg was right here. And I come around this side of it, look at all the rocks that they've thrown up onto here from digging through that dang hole. So they've chewed three holes, they've crawled underneath, and instead of crawling back out, they're crawling through. It's amazing. So today I'm going to clean this off, put it away, maybe try to patch that with some duct tape, the miracle adhesive. I see you back there. Lori's not feeling well. Get back in that house. <laughs> We've got the furnace running like crazy to try to keep her warm. She's not been feeling good the last couple days. All right. Let's open up the back of the truck. Crunch. Generator. It's been a month since I've run the generator. So we're gonna pop this open today. Let it run for about 15, 20 minutes. Get it all nice and juiced up. And then I'll bring a hair dryer out, put a little load on it, maybe bring the little electric furnace out, put a little load on it, let it run for a good hour. You got to exercise your generators. You can't just leave them set if you're not using them. The Champion generator that we bought is the 3400 watt inverter. Good looking generator. Got the remote start. Let's see how long it takes to start it because it's been cold. There's one. There's two. Not bad. Oops. <laughs> Three times. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Is it gonna go? Little smoke. That's not bad for being in 24 degree weather for several nights. Not too shabby. We'll let it run a good hour and put it, like I said, put a load on it, give it some exercise since we don't use it here at the campground because we have full hookups. And yes, I have it sitting in the back of our truck. We actually have it chained into the bed of the truck. And really, we don't ever need to take it out except on rare occasions because we have enough uh, power cord from the rig to reach it, and that way we don't have to leave it set underneath the rig for any reason. We're gonna go put a load on the generator. Got my furnace. For about, uh, I decided 30 minutes, we'll let this puppy run. Jump up here. got it on economy mode right now. Turn economy mode off. Listen to the difference. Leave it off. 
heat up the outdoors and listen to this thing. Not bad for economy mode. So we'll let that run for about 30, 35 minutes with the uh, load on it like that. And that should give it enough exercise for this month. Just always remember, exercise your generator. Let's go see how the generator's doing. It's been an hour. Still chugging along. Got my handy dandy remote. Let's turn off the furnace first. That pretty much does it. Got to exercise that generator. I'll check the gas, make sure it's still full, uh, full of fuel, and uh, log the hours, the hour that we ran this with a load on my little log book, and keep track of it, and that way I'll know exactly when I need to change the oil on the darn thing. Hey, what? aren't you supposed to be scanning in pictures instead of bird watching? Yes, sir. I can't help it. They come down here and I have to find out what kind of birdie they are. They're not there now. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> the chickadees were there and of course the Stellar's Jay was there. And then I'm trying to figure out what these little tiny birds are. But I haven't been able to find it yet because they haven't come back. Uh -huh. I'm still scanning. Don't wait for the computer to do its thing. See? What are we looking at? Well, I scan it in and save it. Yeah. I'm scanning the back of it. How old are these pictures you're scanning in? As old as you. <laughs> See, here you are with your grandpa. Wow. Yep, so then... I just put a little check mark on the back so I know that it's been scanned. Here, look. Here is one of the pictures we were teasing about. <laughs> You'll never guess what I'm playing with. <laughs> it's bread. And his mom even wrote that in the photo album. Tommy and bread. So here he is like, oh, what the heck is this? And he's like, oh, bread. Cool. <laughs> Let's sit out in the yard with loaves of bread in our lap. Hey, when you got no friends. <laughs> well, you have a friend here. So it's not funny. You're playing with a little girl here uh -huh. in these Yeah, pictures. goodbye. Time to, time to go. So right now we're doing a bit of autumn cleaning. So we're going through this box that we got had at mom's and I'm scanning pictures in and we are finding all kinds of documents and stuff that um, from Tom's family and everything. And this piece of paper right here is, um, it says to be handed into nursery the day before going home said that formula recipe may be filled in. Okay, so it says, St. John's Hospital name, Giamonco, and it has the date and the time and the length and weight and dismissal weight and all that, you know, for, for Tom to be let out of the hospital when he was born. So right away in the first paragraph, it says, a message to parents. <laughs> the training of a child starts at birth because everything that happens to a baby from the moment he is born 
influences the kind of a person he will be. Well, that explains a lot. Voila! <laughs> So they sent home this whole thing and how to care for your baby and bathing the baby when is a good time. And then we also found this little report card thing. Isn't that cute? It's got like little pictures and there's either an, what is it? An X. An X is satisfactory development. A dot shows improvement and a check mark needs to improve. So he's got... A lot of X's here, which is which is good. It means satisfactory, especially in the uh, it's the I like music. <laughs> <laughs> Big surprise there! Big surprise. So it's just kind of fun going through all this stuff. So I'm getting, I'm gonna start scanning documents and pictures and all that, and then goes back to um, mom's house for safekeeping. Something else we found was um, this document here um, in memory of Tom's biological dad, Sam Giamonco. He um, died when Tom was very, very young. He had been in the service, and so Tom has this flag. He, um, he had cancer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Tom never really got, never knew him. Not no. really, but he never did get to know him. Died in 1955. Yep. Tom was just a little. I was like a year old. Yep. A little over a year. You're almost two years old. A year and a half. Yeah, well, because October and your birthday's in December. Yeah, but we never celebrated it until February. <laughs> His I... birthday is December 15th, so it's 10 days before Christmas. <laughs> so when he was little, his birthday was in February. Yeah. So it my, was separate. My mom's like, you're not having a birthday in December. We'll celebrate in February. So it was like they decided, you know... Oh, let's do it every, let's do it on leap year. That way we only have to celebrate his birthday once every four years. Once I didn't have very many birthdays. Once again, I repeat. The I'm training, a lot younger than I look. <laughs> the training of a child starts at birth. <laughs> so just having some fun. Scanning in pictures. Fun stuff. This was his dad's. S J G. Pretty cool. Oh, lovely band aid, huh? Yep. So Tom found another document that's of of interest. I got an award for the pupils reading circle. State of Missouri Department of Education. May twenty second, nineteen sixty four. How old were you? Not even one year old yet. <laughs> Go ahead, continue. Read. Prove that you deserve that award. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> what else got there? Um, <clears throat> St. Louise de Marillac. My grade okay. card that from the first grade. That was a Catholic school you went to in St. Louis, yep. right? Yep. Reading level A. Oh, that's the first report. So first quarter. Second quarter. B. Third quarter. C. Fourth quarter. A D. Those were the letters that you were learning, probably. <laughs> <laughs> How could you go down? I did. Unless the reading levels start at A and you go up. That's it. Yeah. You learned all the words that began with A and then all the words that began with B. Okay, How that's old not were even you? funny. Well, it was first grade, 1960. Oh. Kaylee wants to help. Actually, she wants attention. Huh, Kaylee? That's what she likes to do. Come and lay in the middle of whatever I'm trying to do. Kaylee, flip your tail. Flip your tail. Kaylee. Did a pretty girl. So Tom found these little baby book things. Baby's keepsake. Remembrance record. Baby's name, Thomas Michael. Date of birth, the time of birth, the place of birth. Oh, jeez. 
Don't you let me down. Let me call you back. Goodbye. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, the doctor's name, Dr. Muckerman. Muckerman. Seven pounds, 11 ounces. Remarks. And this is written by my mother. Handwritten. The remarks. Lots of straight black hair. Ugly, but mine. <laughs> Have I ever told you about the idiots in my family? <laughs> so your mom's first thoughts, remarks about her baby boy, ugly but mine. Notice a surprise look on my face. Aww. <laughs> well, there's our Thursday throw up Thursday video, whatever. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Our T U T throw up Thursday video for this week. We hope that you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Even one with the bandaid on it works. If you uh, think that Tom is was an ugly baby, I mean, we showed you the picture of him with his bread. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, and if you are new to us and haven't subscribed yet, please do, and then make sure that you click the little bell to be reminded of any new videos that we throw up. Have a great week.